Hey guys, this is Ekinjin1. So today I'm going to show you how to get most out of your battery life on the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. And this method can work on any Samsung devices. If you didn't know already, I have this device for 1.5 years approx and I'm getting 9 hours and 30 minutes of screen on time with moderate usage. Usually I get 4 to 5 hours, however after tweaking the settings now I'm getting an optimal performance and battery life. Before we jump into the main topic, if you're new to the channel it would be awesome if you could smash the like icon and subscribe. It really helps the channel to grow and motivates me to make more awesome videos for you. Without further ado, let's get started. Anyways, the first step is to make sure you have a solid wallpaper, a black one, so that it conserves the battery life. Now the second step is, is to make sure you enable power saving mode. Just gonna show you here very quick. I have these three enabled, so just tick that on. Then the second one is make sure you enable dark mode. Now before I jump into the settings, just going to show you how many apps I have, so you can see here. Anyways, let us, oh, and also we have the game launcher, you can see here, so lots of games. Anyways, let us go to the settings. So the first step is the connection. I didn't change anything from Samsung account, so we'll just jump to the connection. From here, if you click on the Wi-Fi, top right corner, advanced. Make sure that you toggle these two options. Do not toggle this option. If you need any explanation, anything, let me know on the comment section. Anyways, moving on, make sure you toggle this off. Use it only when necessary, go back. Then Wi-Fi calling, toggle that off, use Bluetooth only when necessary, NFC off, flight mode off, mobile networks, make sure that the vault calls is off because this one tends to consume a lot of battery life and I have been testing it and it seems to be the cause of most of the battery issue and overheating. Now the network mode, if you have 5G, make sure you put on LTE, 3G, and 2G. If you are using 5G, then use it only when necessary because 5G is still not efficient and may cause battery drainage. More connection settings. So make sure you toggle off nearby device scanning. Printing, you can leave that on, but if you're not using the printing, then toggle that off. Now go back and let us go to sounds and vibrations. Now click on the volume and make sure that if you're using the sound mode, it doesn't go to the max. Only use it to 75 or 80%. Just like that. Then vibration intensity. This is a very important one. Do not keep it to the max because this tends to draw out a lot of power to give you that intensity. Just make sure you keep it here. And do the same for notification, otherwise you can reduce that. For touch interaction, make sure it is zero. System sound and vibration control. Make sure that you toggle everything off except the charging. Sound quality and effects. Make sure that the Dolby Atmos for gaming is off. Go back. Now the notifications. I did not change anything here but let us check it out. So advanced settings we have the notification history so I enabled that on so if you guys are interested this is a very cool feature to track all of your notification history I'm not sure if this affected battery life but I kept it on so you can leave it on or off it's totally up to you now the other things here we have you can see that I toggled this on this off and this on wireless emergency alerts 
make sure that you toggle off test alerts if this is enabled for you. Next up we have the display. Make sure it is on dark mode and then toggle these two off. So the brightness right now is around at 50% for the sake of this video. Anyways, moving on, the adaptive brightness, make sure it is off. Blue light, only use it when necessary. Screen resolution, make sure it is on 1080p. I leave the screen timeout at 2 minutes, but you can leave it at 15 minutes if you want. However, I didn't find any changes with the battery life. Edge panels, I turned that off, so you should too. Navigation bar. You can use either the buttons or swipe gestures. If you're using the swipe gesture, I use these two, I enable these two. If you want to block this, you can, otherwise just leave it off. Accidental touch protection, enable that, it's very useful. Turn this off. Show charging information, totally up to you. Wallpapers, make sure that this option is on. So you can see right here, it brightens up a little bit, but if you enable the dark mode, it lowers the brightness, which conserves the battery life. Moving on, we have the home screen. You can do whatever with the settings here, but th these are my settings. Going back, lock screen. You can see I kept it on pin or fingerprint. The wallpaper services to none. And then yeah, nothing much here. So let us just go back. So biometric and security. You can see that the fingerprint is on. Then more biometric settings. Turn this one off. You do not need the animation and whatnot. Go back. Scroll down a bit, make sure you turn off Find My Mobile. If you want, you can enable it, but it does consume battery life. Moving on, we have other security settings. On Device Admin Apps, make sure you toggle off for all the application. Go back. If you want, you can toggle this on or off. The trust agents, make sure that you toggle off for Bixby routines, smart lock. You can leave air command on, which is the S Pen support. The pin windows is off. If you, if you do not want the O2 updates, then you can toggle this off. Otherwise, you can keep it on. Privacy. So from here, if you go to Permission Manager, you can see the list of all the permissions that has been granted for the apps. Make sure you go to Body Sensors and toggle off any application that requires the permission. This saves a lot of battery life. Go back, go to Customization Service. Make sure you turn this off. Go back, toggle these two off. You do not want the marketing information like the ads and whatnot. You do not want to send the diagnostic data on the background, which tends to drain the battery life. So toggle these two off. Android personalized service. You can to toggle this on or off. Totally up to you. Go to usage and diagnostics and make sure that this is toggled off. Go back. On the location, only use it when necessary, otherwise toggle it off. On Google services, go to account services, Google contact syncs, make sure that you toggle these both off. Google fit, Google Play Instant, toggle that off. 
So nothing here, just gonna go back very quick. Click on the backup, toggle it off. Only turn it on when necessary. Data and messaging. Make sure you click on the Wi-Fi only. This will save the data, battery life, and the background process. On device sharing, make sure you toggle these all off. Security, make sure you toggle this off as well. Make sure you toggle this off as well. Go back then accounts and backup go to backup data so as you can see I'm getting notification anyways hopefully there's no notification that disturbed the process now go to advanced features make sure you toggle off these three options S Pen Make sure that this is off, only turn it on when necessary. And just copy the settings. Make sure that this one is off because this one drains a lot of battery life. So I have been testing that as well. Go back. Nothing special here. Go to motions and gestures. Make sure you toggle off the lift to wake because this uses the sensor which drains your battery life. Toggle this off and these two as well. Anyways, moving on, the Bixby routines. I advise you to not use it because this saves a lot of battery life. Video enhancer, make sure that this is off, go back and then go back. Digital well-being, uh, well I didn't change anything here so you can just go back. If you have this one on make sure it is off. Now let us go to the battery and device care. On the top right corner you have automation. Make sure that this is on and set the time you want your phone to be restarted automatically and this optimizes your phone and improves the performance. Make sure you toggle on the closed apps to free up space as well. Go back. Now let us go to the battery. So make sure that you have power saving mode on. Go to background usage limits. Enable this one. Go to sleeping apps. And this is my favorite, these both options. You have the deep sleeping apps and sleeping apps. This is my favorite feature because this saves a lot of battery life. Press on the plus icon. Now click all the apps which you do not need to run in the background. So for example, I do not want to run the Adblock Fast or Adobe Acrobat. These apps will not run in the background. However, if you launch the app, it will operate normally. So you can press add and you can see here, these are all the list of apps which I have kept in sleep mode. Going back, we go to deep sleep apps. With this one, it will never run in the background. They will only work when you open them. So it is similar like the sleeping apps. However, this completely stops running in the background if not using. So very useful and you can see I added these once. And this one is automatically added. Very useful. Go back. More battery settings. Make sure you toggle this, these both off. Turn these both on or totally up to you. And this one. Do not use fast charging because this tends to drain a lot of battery life. Only use it when necessary. Go back and then device care make sure that this is off. If this is on it drains a lot of battery life. If you do not know how to turn this off let me know in the comment section and we'll let you guys know. Go back go to apps. 
On the top right corner, click on the special access. Click on all file access and make sure that you toggle off the ones which you do not use. So Samsung Cloud I'm not using anymore, toggle that off and then just go back, click on change system settings and then make sure that the ones which you do not want the system to be changed to be toggled off. So let us say that I do not want for example the keys cafe to change the system settings of my device. Go back. Adaptive notification, you can leave that alone. Go back. On the usage data access, make sure that you deny permission for the apps you do not use or the ones which you think uses a lot of resources. So you can see here, I disabled for SnapTube because this drains a lot of battery life and uses a lot of usage. You can even toggle off for Samsung Push Services, even for Google Play Store and Google Play Services, even for Google. And you can see here, these are my settings, so Game Launcher not allowed, Galaxy Store not allowed, Finder, Discord, Digital Wellbeing, and Device Personalization Services. Go back, then just go back. Then you have the developer option, so I'm just going to show you how to enable that if you don't know. Go to a bad device, software information, then tap build number seven times. Then enter your phone password, then you should see developer has been enabled. Go back, then you should see the new option, developer options. Now from here, scroll down. The, until you see Wi-Fi scan throttling. Make sure that this one is turned on. Now I think I missed something so I'm just gonna go back very quick. Now from here make sure you go to accessibility then visibility enhancements and you have two options. You can totally remove the animations just like that. You can see there is no animation at all. Or you can just toggle that off, go to developer options, scroll down to the end until you see the Windows animation scale, transition and animator. You can keep that to 0.5 so you still get animation but a little faster, so just like that. Or if you want to totally remove the animation you can toggle that off or which the settings which I showed you already earlier, you can go there as well. Anyways guys, thanks for watching, do like, subscribe, see you guys in the next one, peace out.